All right. And we're live. Uh, Y'all didn't get to hear the last little bit, but Dan was talking about how professional he is, and that's 100% a lie. Look, this is how professional I am. <laughs> Who's messaging me? That's not. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sitting here talking to you, so I don't know who else would be sending you a message. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but Leanne's in the kitchen, and I'm right here. So, yeah. whoever it is, I don't know. All right, uh, so, some stupid YouTube notification telling me that some hobo has gone live on his channel. <laughs> yeah, it's us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so welcome back to Unhinged Tech, the latest and greatest tech talk show on Wednesday night. Of course, mm -hmm. you have me, Tech Odyssey, and then we also have English Dinner Guy Reviews. Mm -hmm. English Dinner Reviews. What are you eating tonight? That Panera tomato bitch with half a grilled cheese. Ugh. All right. Look at it. Look at the size of that. It's like diet food, bro. Yeah. Well, definitely fit in your mouth. Yeah, well, yeah absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not a tomato fan, tomato soup fan, um, but I especially am not a grilled cheese fan. I, I can stomach tomato soup every once in a while, though. Do I care whether you like it or not? Are you eating it? No. Well, we shut up then. Just talk like you normally do and ignore my grilled cheese and tomato soup that tastes like it's got four pounds of sugar in it. All right, thanks. Your audio sounds like trash tonight. What the hell? Huh. I bet it switched over from the microphone. Yeah, to these stupid limit. Give me this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Anyway, so I'm going to read off some of these comments while you get your life together. You've had 45 years, but oh, maybe you can for the next five minutes. What's yeah. up, my friend? I upgraded my phone, Galaxy S10 to the S21. Wow, that is a huge upgrade. Hopefully you like that, William. It's it's definitely a very good phone. Uh, Michael Nesbitt, maybe you changed my mind. I personally think it's overrated. Um, I don't think it's overrated at all, really. Where the heck did Dan go? Oh, well, whatever. I'm not missing much. Um, yeah, so I've been using it since I got mine this afternoon, and I don't think it's overrated. There are things about it that I don't like, like the absence of a power brick or the absence of the SD card or the lack of the MST payment, or, I mean, I could keep going on. There are things that I don't like about it, but at $1,199, I think in the grand scheme of things, when you look at what it brings to the table, probably worth the price point. It's $200 cheaper than last year, um, which is still- the time is good now. I don't know what to say. It's coming through my Yeti, so like it normally does. That's weird. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, so David Nielsen, I'm not wanting the Ultra. The S21 seems like a downgrade. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that does seem like a downgrade from the S21 to but the But it's S21. also cheaper. Yeah, it is cheaper. I mean, the S21 is, you know, $799, and the S20 yeah. last year was $999. So, I mean, yeah, there are things that I think there are a bit of a step down, but the price largely justifies some of the cost cuts, at least – I would be a lot more angry if they were charging nine ninety nine and took all that stuff out. I agree. Thanks, Zach. Vegas was great. Stayed safe. Obviously, I had this ugly bar steward next to me, so no one came near us. So it was fine. It was no problem. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, first live stream. Love the channel. Thanks, Ian. Glad to have you here tonight. Fights and Hi, Ian. what's where I well, moved? Fights and finance. What's up, fellas? Hello, hello, and yes, thank you very much for the super chat, Zach. Yeah, we had a good time. Uh, surprisingly, there were not like a ton of people. Uh, I was there a few months ago for my anniversary with my wife, and it seemed like it was much busier then. But of course, we were out a lot during the daytime. Not like a ton at nighttime because, you know, we're not the most you know nightlife oriented people around here. Usually once the sun goes down, I'm either making a video or playing Call of Duty, <laughs> not, not going out on the town. So anyway, I mean, we had a really good time, though. Lots of good food, tons and tons of walking. Uh, but it was nice to get out and see some of the city during the day. I mean, go around. We took a lot of pictures, a lot of video stuff. I mean, I've got a video uh, that I'm working on right now for the, the Nord uh, 10 5G, which uh, surprisingly takes good pictures. So, yeah, it was it was a good I time. Video. Let me see here. The video yeah, was really good. Really on its last legs. Yeah, uh, yes, absolutely. The, the S21 is an upgrade over the <laughs> over the Note 8. Uh, I you know I tell you what though the Note Eight is probably my favorite form factor of all the notes. I really loved the form factor on the Eight when it came out, especially in that black color. It was a really 
really sharp looking phone. And it had really mm -hmm. nice cameras in it too. It, they were uh, upgraded over the uh, the S8, more optimized. I That was one of the first phones I used to make videos with. Mm. Yeah. Review. Hello, Unbox Warehouse 8. Thanks a lot for showing up tonight. Seiko Robot Voice. Yes. Is that me? I got yeah. Robot Voice? Uh, a little bit, I guess. It's not good. Hey, America, join the rest of the world, retire the magnetic strip, tap into Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll get there one day. I don't know how far behind we are the rest of the world, but, I mean, we have to have our own um, measurements. MST's system. gone. It's gone. So. No yeah, it's gone on the S21, but, I mean, there's a lot of phones out there that still use it, so, and it's not. What, MST? There's only LG that use the MST stuff. Well, they didn't disable it in the uh, Samsung phones. In the 21s, it's not in the MST. I know. I'm saying there are a lot of phones out there that Samsung has already made that MST still works on. I'm Yeah, it's oh. not in the S21. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah, they took it out. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's actually been something that's really good. But yes, the U.S. is very much behind on these contactless payment systems. Yeah, is it that bad? Yeah. It's scaring everybody off. Now my wife's telling me my microphone is trash. So, you know, it's really trash when that's happening. <sighs> Okay. Well, I'll just talk. You fix it. Mm -hmm. If it's fixable. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, maybe it's my heater that I add on. Is that any better? No. No? Still sound like crap. Hmm. Uh, Dan, tonight you sound like you look pretty accurate. Think about the bank, as long as some hold out. Yeah. Uh, it took forever. They just put all that stuff inside of the uh, like the, the gas stations and stuff to where it uses that recently. So th there's a, a lot of places. I mean, the, the contactless payment stuff is coming on board a lot more places. Um, but still, it's not it's not 100 percent yet. But I guess that Samsung kind of went back and did a. Uh, did an evaluation and said, hey, you know, more and more people are using the regular NFC payments, so maybe we don't have to spend the extra money and put that in there anymore. Uh, it's not pudding. He's eating tomato soup. But yes. <laughs> Do you think it's worth the upgrade from Note 10 Plus to the Ultra? Uh, I mean, that one right there is a little bit more sketchy. I mean, definitely from the Note 8 to the S21 Ultra, but there is a significant increase. I mean, we're talking about the 855 or the 855 plus that was in the Note 10. We're talking about the 888 now. And the 865 plus was like, what, 25, 30% faster than the 8, 855 plus. So, I mean, yeah, you're probably talking at least 30% performance increase there. So that's good. And uh, the cameras are, they should be a little bit improved. I, I really like this 100 times. <laughs> super impressive. Yes. But I was not... I felt like it was more gimmicky on the S20 Ultra. Like it wasn't that great. And this one, it it took some pretty impressive pictures today. And yes, I still think that it's a little on the gimmicky side. I mean, who needs a hundred times zoom camera? I, I don't think that that's the most useful thing in creation, but it's something different. I mean, it's something a lot of other cameras don't have. And the 10 times is very good on the zoom. So I, I, I don't really have any, any heartburn over it. Is this any better? I've just rebooted the mic. Um, maybe like 40% better. Jeez, I don't know what's going on. Don't know. Yeah, it, it's just coming in all like break up and staticky. I don't know what the deal is. You can really? try and with the computer if you want real quick. Yeah, I'm going to have to. So I've only just took it out of the backpack, so I've not even used it since we've been back. But all right, I'll be back. All right. Anyway, so yeah. Let me see. Off topic, have you guys followed the iPhone 12 MagSafe controversy? Could it ever reach? So I don't know anything about that controversy. Somebody said something to me, about that to me earlier. And uh, I had made a video before saying that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the most dangerous phone of 2020. Um, so carrying over to 2021, maybe there are some issues with that. And I'm assuming that's what they were alluding to. Let me see here. Mag save. Well, I'll just type fire because I'm assuming that's what's happening. <laughs> Apple suit over reputed. Fire hazard of mag say power. You know, it doesn't surprise me. Here's the thing. Whenever it comes to these wireless transmission methods for transmitting power to a device, it can be problematic. And the thing is, is we had to deal with this a lot whenever the technology first came out because it generates a lot of heat. So whenever you have it going through these cases or you have these two coils, there, there are things in there. Yeah, the magnets, all that stuff can lead to and more heat. 
So, I mean, it wouldn't be, I think, out of this world. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think they had mentioned before, keep it away from uh, from pacemakers. But I wonder if you've got a QI wireless charger or Qi wireless charger, I wonder how much that would interact or impact with the uh, pacemaker either. Likely, if you've got a pacemaker, you just shouldn't put anything that transmits a wireless signal <laughs> that's not a cell phone to your heart. Uh, I, I would imagine that would probably be bad. And I don't know what the proximity is either. But either way, uh, odd how code is pushing us to the future with contactless payments. Yeah, that's something that's been kind of interesting. Uh, I, I've been using it more and more, especially as I've been using Apple Pay with my iPhone. And I used it somewhere yesterday that I never even thought of before and just pulled the phone out. And it's like, oh, I saw a little wireless thing and, and tried it and it worked. So that's cool. Yeah, so hopefully he'll be back here in a minute with uh, enhanced audio that doesn't suck so bad. Uh, I know it's bad enough you'll have to look at him already, but it, at least he could do as good as audio descent, right? Uh, when I first opened the channel, it wouldn't let me hear anything but weird static, but now, you, yeah, it, it was his microphone, Crystal. I, I'm not sure what the issue is because that's his normal computer he uses. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, S21, S21 Ultra. So here's mine, and I have this official Samsung case on here. And the thing with the Samsung case is... It has a spot on here for the stylus, and that's okay, but it's weird because it adds this little extra block onto the side over here, and it's slightly off-putting because whenever you're holding the phone, now the phone seems like it's not quite centered in your hand the same for typing, so it did feel like it was throwing me off a little bit, but after about an hour or two of typing on here, I, I, I adapted and got over it, but I think it's really kind of a cheap design. I do like the larger stylus though. So what we have here is effectively the same stylus that you get with the Tab S6, which I liked a lot. I really like this stylus as opposed to the one that is with the um, the new the new Tab. So this is the Tab S7 Plus stylus, Tab S7 stylus, and then this is the Tab S6. So there is a much more noticeable difference there. I wonder if the Tab S7 stylus will work on it. Let me try that out real quick. Yeah, it does. So apparently you can use the Tab S7 Plus or S7 Stylus, so that's cool. Snowman Can, hello, welcome. Thanks for being here tonight. And yeah, it's a little bit of a change of pace too. I've got my note here. That phone's galore everywhere. So just so you can see the size comparison here, I've got the Note 20 Ultra Stylus, and then I've got the stylus that comes with the case for the S21 Ultra, and there is definitely a big difference here. The one on the Note is much, much thinner, and I gotta say, it's a little off-putting. Like, whenever you use the normal stylus, I never really cared for how small the stylus was, so I don't mind that it's larger like this, but I wish there was some way they could accommodate it inside the phone. I don't like this whole silicone case on the outside of it, and it just kind of pops in there. I'm sure I'll get used to it and adapt to it over time. It's whatever. I don't really even use the stylus that much with my phone. It's just, it's an added feature and it's a relatively inexpensive grab, especially with the amount of trading credit that Samsung gives you if you want to buy their stuff. So yeah, but either way, I find that it works okay. It seems like the software is not optimized very well um, whenever it comes to the glide, ty glide typing. So I was trying to use this for the swipe typing, glide typing, whatever. And it just seems like it's not very good at picking up words. It's okay if you tap it for the letters, but dragging it uh, and trying to, to swipe or glide, whatever it is, and do the letters to type, it really wasn't coming up with the word predictions that I was looking for. So I don't know. Uh, retethered, I think we'll see one more version of the note. And we will see the S Pen move to the fold and no more note. Yeah, and I made a video about that as well. Uh, I know that that's something that was kind of in the rumor mill. And we'll see if it comes to fruition or not, whether it does or not, I mean, largely inconsequential, I think, but this right here is a big step to freedom from the note. And Okay, so I hit the back button on my mouse <laughs> and it kicked me out, so I'm back. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so this right here and having the ability to have these phones that take care of it is a way to get people away from having to buy the note, the dedicated note, because not everybody likes 
having a gigantic phone like that. They're talking about having expanded stylus or S Pen support. And then, of course, with the Fold. And I think that this is a logical progression for the Fold. The Fold is, of course, their really expensive premium high tier phone now. Ideally, as more generations come out, it will become more affordable and the price will come down. That's what we want. We want cheaper phones, uh, but we want the cool stuff and we want it cheaper. So I, I think it's important. You look at the shift that they've had already this year. So we've got the S21 Ultra at $1,199, which I'm tickled to death about. I'm glad that it's come down $200. The S20 Ultra was a huge ripoff. So, and especially after the problems it had with the camera, I really think that as like, an act of good faith, Samsung needed to do something to make the purchase situation better and to entice people to pick it up, especially since Apple didn't raise their prices. Apple is still 1099 for their Max phone, so it makes sense that uh, they would need to bring the price point down. If they tried to sell this one at 1399, then absolutely it would cause a lot of problems. All right, say something. I look beautiful. You sound like a potato. It's just weird. Unless my Yeti mic's decided it doesn't want to work anymore. That could be it. Just hop on, just hop on. Yeah, on the I phone. just swap right off that mic. It's bad, yeah. <sighs> All right. Yeah. I'll I'll the mic up. yeah, I will do. All right. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, yeah, so sorry we're having so many problems with this tonight. Uh, I know Dan wants to be in here. i having some sort of technical difficulties over there. But anyway, as far as the phone goes, I actually like it quite a bit. And I like the aesthetics on it. I have, I have some feelings about the S21 and the S21 Plus. I think they feel really cheap, especially the S20. The S20 feels like a crap phone to me. And I'm sure it performs just fine. It's got really good hardware in it. It's got a beautiful screen in it, albeit not quad HD plus. But whenever you actually take a look at the phone, you pick it up, it feels like plastic. I have been calling it the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE because that's what it feels like, it look, especially in that purple color. And I know some people like that. I don't want to offend anybody who likes the purple color. I like purples, my favorite color, but I don't like the way it looks on the S21. It, it looks like a cheap cotton candy purple with it like plastic dipped. I mean, that's what it looked like to me when I went to the store and looked at it. But this one with this flat black color that they have on here, is absolutely fire. I mean, I, I really like the way that this looks and it's got a nice texture to it. it. It's got like that matte finish to it or it doesn't feel like it drags or anything, but it, it does, it, it feels good. And then the way this camera design is back here, uh, of course you've got the three cameras on the back, the sensor, the LED flash and all that stuff. It looks really good. The phone itself does feel and remind me a lot of the S21 Ultra but not as fat. So the S21 Ultra, I think, is a little bit thicker. And then, of course, you still have the problem with the camera module bump here because when you place it down on a flat surface, it wobbles because, da -da, look at that. It's like the freaking, uh, it's like a piece of the Antarctic shelf that fell off. So when you take that, place it down on a flat surface and you're typing, it's like wobbling back and forth. It's not cool. Uh, still has Bixby, which sucks. Uh, power button, volume rocker over here. And then it's got stereo sound. Now the stereo sound gets really, really loud. Like it's, it's really loud. I was listening to it earlier. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> turn that down a little bit. Uh, but comparatively using the iPhone 12 pro max, I mean, this is just my preliminary assessment. I think the sound quality might still be a little bit better on the iPhone, but the volume on here is freakishly loud. Like it's really impressive. I thought the fold was loud. I think this is louder. I need to get my little decibel uh, sound meter thing out so I can test it. And uh, you know, it's funny that you say Blackberry down there, uh, Justin, because right now, maybe you've seen one of these before, but this is the red special edition Blackberry mobile key two. So ta-da, take a look at that. And I have a video coming out on this soon. But I also have in my possession the BlackBerry Mobile Key 2 LE in atomic red as well. And there's some key differences here. Of course, you can see on the Key 2, the entire metal frame is red. The red frets that go in between the keyboard. And then the Key 2 LE has a polycarbonate frame with the, um, yeah, it's still got the atomic red color on it as well. And it's very, very beautiful, very gorgeous. These are not mine. Uh, I actually have a friend 
who uh, loaned these out to me and uh, he's asked to remain, he's, he has asked to remain anonymous, but um, he just asked me the other day, he's like, Hey, I've got these in my collection. Uh, you want, want me to send them over to you and check them out for a couple weeks and make a video. I'm like, yes, that would be awesome. I've been wanting to get my hands on a red one for a while. So you'll get to see a video of the red Blackberry mobile devices in the near future. How's it working now? I don't know. Any better? Keep talking. Yeah, uh, it should be better. I, I think it was to do with the USB port. It's like 80% better. I mean, it's still at the end of nope. your talking. It trails off a little bit. You'll get a crack, but it's not nearly yeah. as bad as it was. I was crackling like, fuck, it's the mic. Excuse me a minute. Sorry, Excuse sorry. me a minute. I'm just going to back. Okay. Anyway, so, hey, Andrew, thanks for uh, showing up tonight. And, yeah, so I, I think that this one is a really sexy-looking phone, though. Uh, the camera stuff on it is pretty cool. I want to show you all something if I can. I put up a tweet earlier. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I post a lot of stuff there. It's kind of a mixed bag. You may get me talking about food. You may get me talking about a TV show. Typically, I tweet a lot from the hours of midnight and 2 a.m. about whatever nonsense is going on. But sometimes I do type things and put stuff out there about tech. And I got to show you something. So Y'all are not going to be able to see this, but inside this picture, inside this picture, there is an airplane. You can't see the airplane because it's so small. But then I took another picture and you can kind of see the airplane there. So there we go. We got the airplane airplane. And then, but ow, <laughs> look at that. And like I said, you can go to Twitter to my to my profile. I just posted it a little bit earlier this evening. The 100 times zoom on here is pretty good. And I did this handheld. This is not on a tripod. I was able to capture this in the air from who knows how far away it was with the 100 times zoom. And you can perfectly make out the silhouette. Uh, I'm going to guess here, it looks like a 737 model, uh, probably model 800. It looks like the Southwest Airlines plane, which makes sense because there's one right down the road from my house. I just flew on one the other day. Um, remarkable journey, all that great stuff. But so far, I got to say that I like it. Of course, it's got more battery, and that's something that's super important because it, this one, the S21 Ultra, has the adaptive 100 hertz, 100, 120 hertz refresh rate on Quad HD+. So this one, the S21 Ultra, if you're looking at having that Quad HD+, Plus display, you're going to have to go with the Ultra because the S21 and the S21 Plus are only 1080p. They don't do Quad HD+, Plus, even if you turn off the adaptive refresh rate. And I don't really know why they did that. I, I know why, because of, you know, they, for marketing purposes, they want to, they want to sell people on the ultra. They need to make some sort of a distinction. But when you have a flagship caliber phone here, I don't think that we should be quibbling and having to be left out in the wind whenever it comes to enhanced res resolutions. Quad HD plus has been a flagship standard in phones since the LG G3. The LG G3, I believe it was the very first one mainstream phone that had the Quad HD Plus resolution. And that was a big thing at that time because it didn't have a very big screen on it. And they were really starting to push the envelope on that. So much so you look at the Samsung Galaxy uh, S6 and it had a Quad HD Plus, but it was like a 5.5 inch screen, 5.7. I don't know. I'm, so, many, so many numbers I have to remember here. But moral of the story is Quad HD Plus has been around for like seven years. And they were always pushing that pixel per inch limit and in envelope. And yes, of course, we hated on Apple for so long for keeping a 1080p screen and even less than that. And it taking them forever to get a Quad HD Plus resolution. But if you're paying $799 for a phone, if you're paying $899 for a phone, yeah, you should not be having to sacrifice when it comes to the resolution. Leave it how it was before. And yeah, you know, we complained enough already when it came to the whole S20 or the Note 20, you know, like the Note 20, it didn't have Quad HD Plus and it wasn't, it didn't have an enhanced refresh rate. But you looked at the Note 20 Ultra or you look at the S20 Ultra and they had at least had 120 hertz, but it was at 1080p. But if you turn it off, you could still opt for the Quad HD Plus resolution. So you could have that sharper resolution without the enhanced refresh rate. So I wish they would have left that option built in because I know the panel supports it. I know the chipset supports it. So all of those things, it's, it's very frustrating. All right, let me get to some of these comments and questions here. Crystal Vickers, whoopsie, yep. Uh, Dan had a little food bar there with the uh, microphone. Last Samsung device felt very cheap and was buggy. 
Yeah, I got to agree with you a little bit. I felt like the Note 10 Plus did feel a little on the cheap side. I, I, I it, The back of it, I, it just felt light and hollow. And that's kind of, kind of some of the impressions I had with the Note 20 Ultra whenever I got it. It doesn't feel as dense or as well built out as the S line. Like the S20 Ultra, very well made phone. Like I like it a lot. And then you also have the uh, S, sorry, yeah, the Note 20 Ultra. It, it feels a little hollow on the inside. So that's kind of been my sentiment with the last two notes. Um, so it's not my favorite thing, but this one right here, the S20 Ultra, nice and dense and well built out. And I, I like it from that perspective, at least anyway. So we'll have to see as I test it out some more so I can get my uh, first impressions video and all that stuff out. I'm going to try and get that out in the morning. Uh, I've already been working on it today. I did the unboxing stuff. I shot some footage for it. So after I get off of here tonight and uh, turn around and fire up the regular video camera, I'll be working on that for tomorrow. So y'all can expect to see my unboxing and first impressions of Note 20 Ultra in the morning. And you know, of course, a lot of y'all are getting that right now. And I thought it was important to do this tonight because I got the phone today. I think it's a day or two early. And I'm sure you guys want to know about this. So if you've got any specific questions about it, please feel free to fire them off. Uh, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But the screen looks absolutely gorgeous. And the haptic feedback is really good on here. Like, it's really a pleasure to type on. So I, I do like that as well. And the fingerprint sensor is pretty darn zippy. I haven't had any problems with it, but I'll go ahead and show you here. I mean, the thing is, is when it comes to the S20, well, to the Samsung phones, the under the screen fingerprint sensor, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, uh, UFS, was really pretty good on the Note 20 Ultra. But the problem was, is putting a screen protector on it a lot of times altered that experience. So I'm I don't really want to put one on here, but at the same time, I don't want to get micro scratches and abrasions and all that stuff and risk damaging my phone. So I probably will. Um, I know it was through T-Mobile and feel like T-Mobile always gets the leftover parts. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that that's something that's really uh, calculable or palpable or tangible. Maybe that's just a perception. I mean, for the longest time, I know most people associated T-Mobile with being cheap, um, which I appreciated as a customer for many years, especially moving over from AT&T and, you know, Sprint and stuff like that. But I, I don't think that they use leftover parts specifically to make T-Mobile phones. Bought yours unlocked. Uh, I did as well. I got mine from Samsung. Try it again. Last try. Say something again. Uh, I'm using a cheap, crappy Insignia microphone now. I think it'll work. It did? Yeah. So that means my Yeti X has taken a dump. Yeah, it could be the cable, though. Did you try switching the cable out? No, I'll have time? to try a different cable. And more than likely, I would I would say it's the cable over the microphone. But, yeah, you sound a lot better now. So we get back to this. Uh, yeah. Let me, so let me see what he says. What do you think of the new phone with under the screen? Are you talking about the ZTE one? I know there's a ZTE one that has the under the screen uh, selfie camera. And I saw some impressions from MKBHD and also from uh, Mr. Mobile. And it's, they seem to be less than impressed with the quality. And I, I just don't think that we're quite there yet, whenever it comes to that. Uh, they've got to find a way to get the, uh, the image to transfer through the screen better. Especially as it, as you use it, it gets smudges, it gets dirty. I mean, of course, you have those problems with the camera already, but I think trying to look through that glass, I, I don't know. I think that creates some problems. You see, I'll be giving up my 11 Pro Max for the new BlackBerry in a heartbeat. Hey, I would too. I can't wait for it to be here. And can tell it's a cheap mic, but sound is much better. Yeah, the sound is a lot better. So. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll have to try another cable with it. That cable's been fine, though. It's not even moved while I've been while we we're in Vegas. It's just literally sat on the desk. Oh. So what do you think? I know you've been you, you told me some of your comments on the side earlier, but you seem to be really happy with the, the new Ultra. I love this. This is the I'm only adding nine hours, all right. So but so far this me is the best phone samsung have made everything just seems good on it photographs photography are as good if not better than the pixel and that's a bold statement and i'm a pixel guy and 
I am shocked how good video is not as good as the iPhone, but um, yeah, I've, photography. I've, had, I've had mixed feelings about the iPhone camera, uh, video camera versus the Samsung mm -hmm. because I was very, very happy with the Note 20 Ultra camera. Like, I thought it was really, really good, definitely much improved over the S20 Ultra. But the thing that sold me is AirDrop. I mean, it's just the usability of it. If I weren't somebody who made videos all the time and it weren't so convenient to just hit a button and it send it right to my desktop. Oh, yeah. I mean, that right there. And the autofocus, so the autofocus, I, I haven't tested it out with this, but the 12 Pro Max has one insanely good autofocus on their video. It does. The video is better on the Pro Max. There's no doubt about it. The iPhone does have better video. But I've got a feeling that that really could be patched because it's bizarre that it's so good at photography but then lacks in video. And I, I've got a feeling – there was an update today. Did you get your update? Yeah, that's uh, what all those noises were before we started the video. And yeah. it was going off and I was yelling at it. <laughs> yeah. So that was a camera update. I've not checked the video since that's come through. But I know one thing. That underscreen fingerprint sensor, Wow. It's good, yeah. I was just showing it off on the camera a minute ago. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with it. Um, and I heard that there were some en enhancements and some refinements that were going to make it work better. And the thing yeah. is, though, is, when it looked like the Note, the Note 20 Ultras was good. Mine mm -hmm. worked perfectly good until I put a screen protector on it, and then it just went to garbage. Which is why I stopped using the phone. It's been yeah. sitting over there collecting dust. Like, I'm going to sell this sucker. Um, I so like dumb. to have a screen protector on my phone, and it's just bad. Yeah, I mean, this has got a screen protector built in it already, right? It's already got one on it. I don't oh, think no. so. No, it doesn't. Not, yeah, I was taking it out of the box earlier. It doesn't have one. That's I think weird. The international model does, but ours doesn't. I think we got shafted. Yeah, here. look at that. I'll have to get one. Um, yeah, it seems so. Huh. Yeah. Didn't know that. But, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the fact that you just have to tap it and bang it's in, it's as it's fast great. as any optical uh, fingerprint sensor I've used. So, and that no, was I'm always impressed. Good. That was always the problem with the previous iterations. Like you had to push your finger down and like smash your, you know, like yeah. flatten out your thumb on the screen and apply yeah. 25 pounds of pressure. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, I'm impressed with it so far. I like the build quality. I think it feels real nice. I got the 512 version. So, yeah, I didn't do that because I'm not going to be shooting video on it. Like for day to day I usage, may. like day to day usage, 128 is perfectly fine for me, but. I do wish with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, I wish I had at least a 256 because I find that I'm always having to delete stuff, especially since I've started recording in 4K. Um, yeah. Just because, I mean, I, I did it by, by not even by a conscious decision. Like I was testing it out for a specific vlog style video and then just forgot to change it back. And then I was like, oh yeah, this is why my videos are taking forever. But I've been shooting in 4K since I got it. But um yeah, I wish I wish I had more storage space, but I was cheap and I didn't buy it. I may try next week streaming on this, but um, Tommy it's thought it really good because the built-in microphones are fantastic. Absolutely. Like Samsung, Samsung, I think has the best directional audio, at least in my personal experience. Uh, Andrew, hi Andrew Mark David, how the devil are you? Andrew Mark David is a funny guy, people. Let me tell you. And no, it doesn't attract fingerprints at all. It's it's it, as, awesome. long as, your, as long as your hands and fingers are not filthy. Like if yeah. you, I had a really Don't go and eat trip. KFC. Don't eat KFC and then pick up your phone. No, no, no. Yeah, let me answer a couple of these comments here real quick. Uh, tech for your needs. Hello, thanks for being here tonight. DCJ Dom in the house. Thank you for being Tommy here. That's what Tuna Tech. So uh, no, I will not sell you my Galaxy Chromebook, and I actually love the heck out of that thing. It's really impressive, and I, I got one open box over at Best Buy for like $619. It's pristine. It's basically brand new. So if you want one, I've seen them as low as $470 on Best Buy. So I would check there. And it's definitely a way better deal than the new one. The new one, they dumbed down the hardware. It doesn't have an AMOLED screen. It's not touch screen. And there's like so much stuff that they cheaped out. I think it's an i3 instead of an i5 now, which they dumped it down to $599 which that's great. Um, but if you can get this one open box, it is a far superior product. <sighs> uh, what was that one gone? That question is gone. Tommy Thunder, there is no way I could do that because we don't get sent phones from Samsung and I ain't going to go out and spend 
the English pound equivalent while I live here in the United States on an Exynos version. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah it would be really expensive. I mean, there are definitely people that are out there. I would say likely if you check out Super Staff or you check out yeah. uh, Aaron, Mr. who's the boss? Yeah, Mister Who's the boss? Either one of those guys are likely going to have an Exynos model. But mm -hmm. I think the big thing here is that people getting the Exynos model are not going to be like set off to the side this go around. I think that this new Exynos processor may in fact be the real deal. So I'm just as interested as you are to see some of these videos because I'm curious to see if they've really made it that much better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there was another question up there I was going to answer. Oh, it was Michael Pepper. There must be something wrong with your A6100, dude, because that's an A6100 with a Sigma 1.4. Yeah, the Sigma 1.4 is an amazing lens, though. So, but it has no focus issues. It's like, bam. So, yeah, I mean, I don't I put mean, makeup on before the show, Dom. I am naturally beautiful. Yes. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so I want to get back to this. I, I wanted to get a couple of people's questions. Um, actually, yeah, the S21 does still have a, the Ultra does have a slight curved edge to it. It's very, very subtle. It's the, it's the yeah. least aggressive curved edge that they've ever put on a phone. I don't even know how much it actually helps ergonomically. And actually I find that it kind of sucks when it comes to this case, because there's kind of like this little crease all the way around the edge where there's that small curve that blends into the case, which that would be fine. Except I try to get your finger over there and you can't get that edge. That case would drive my OCD wild. This case sucks. With it being wider on one side. Yeah, I, I was talking about that earlier while you were trying to work out your, your audio issues. It throws things off because the phone is now off-centered in your hand from a traditional yes. phone when you're typing. Now, I have yes. largely, like I mentioned this earlier, gotten used to it. But no, I, I, I'm not digging this at all. And look, no. I, they just need to put the stylus inside of every phone. Like if style, if Samsung could find a way to have a stylus with every phone and have it go inside the phone, then that would be great. Um, but I will say though, I really, I'm glad this stylus made a resurgence because it's the one from the Tab S6. And I actually love the Tab S6 stylus more so than the bigger, bulkier, rounded pencil style one with the Tab S7 and S7 Plus. They can't put the battery inside it though. Because this was the problem with the note, and they had to reduce the battery size to accommodate the uh, S Pen in the note. Yeah, I, yeah I understand that. It's Hence, just you got dumpster fire out of it. So, in, in a perfect world, that would be the best way to go. Now, maybe as battery technology evolves some more, one day, maybe we'll get better. But this, this is not the answer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's slightly convenient, um, yeah. and I have mixed feelings about it. I don't like it being on the side because I don't use my left hand to draw with. So mm -hmm. I have to move and then I have to open it and I have to put it in this hand. But if you have it on this side, then it's where my hand's going to be. So then you, either way you look at it, you have to reposition your entire grip on the phone to get to the S Pen mm -hmm. with this case. Yeah. And of course, the, the phone itself doesn't come with one. If you don't have the case, yeah, if you don't have the case, then don't, you're not going to get it. But I mean, it's, it's fairly inexpensive. And if you have it, and I was talking about this earlier, Dan, the Tab S7 stylus works with it. Oh, yeah. So does the Note 20 Ultra pen. That works with it as well. Yeah, so the Bluetooth command. It, that's one thing I do like, though, because there are multiple styluses or styli that you can use with this device. So, I mean, I think that's cool. If you want to use the small one, use the small one. If you want to use the big one, yeah. get the big one. Yep. And okay. you can buy it You can buy it individually. Um. Maybe somebody else asked me a question. Who asked me a question? Oh, it was Michael. Michael, I connect my A61. How do you have your A6100 connect on what computer? Via micro USB to a HP on the laptop with a 1660 Ti. Nothing special. It was $638 from Best Buy. That's a good deal. Yeah. I was looking on eBay before. They're selling for 900 bucks still. Like, That's a good what? deal. Yeah. yeah, this right here. Yeah, stylus size. I actually like the stylus size. Like whenever you, I always felt like it was a little baby stylus trying to like pinpoint on the screen. That feels like, more like a pencil. Yes, it does. And you have more reach. Mm -hmm. Like I don't feel like I'm writing like this. I mean, you you have a lot more reach. It feels a lot more natural. So I was really looking forward to that. Yep. Um, so I, I yeah, this is actually one of the best upgrades I think that they made this go around. I do like the inclusion 
of the S Pen, but I like that they don't give you that little tiny baby one, which I've got that Chromebook, that Galaxy Chromebook that Tuna Tech is going on about. And it's got the tiny stylus on it too. And I was trying to use that to make my thumbnails while I was in Vegas. I'm like, I'm, it needs one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, dumb? No. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, Sony's never going to send me a phone. So, I mean, whatever. I don't have to worry about making them happy. But I don't know what in the heck those guys were thinking. So, let's re release are... a phone that we released without 5G. But then re-release it with 5G and add monitor um, crap support, to it. Yeah. Support. Yeah. And then charge $2,500. All right. So just to put this in perspective. All right. So $24.99. $24.99. And here in Texas, we have 8.25% sales tax. So, so that would cost $2,705 to buy this Sony dumpster fire. Uh, I'm sure they probably only made like 126 of them because that's probably all that they're going to sell. I don't see the allure. I mean, the old, this is a very like, okay, so they talk about niches. This is like- Scott Peachy, Scott Peachy, I will drive to Columbus. If you get that phone, I will drive and I will find you and I will whoop that garlic nut off your head. And he'll do it. I'm telling you. I will give him gas when you do it. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will, what is that one? Venmo Cash App. I will cash app you $35 to go slap him in the face. That if he gets one of them phones, I will cash app you so I can go and slap him in the face. I don't I will pay somebody to allow me to go and smack him in the mouth. I'll put out a Facebook marketplace ad. <laughs> Five hundred dollars to whoever slaps Scott Peachy in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if he can raise more money for me slapping him than me getting hit with a drone in Vegas. Uh, well, I think a lot more people would like to see Scott Peachy get slapped in the face. See, I don't think many people care to see you get hit with a drone. Mm -hmm. Who's Andrew P. Smith? Stop copying our show. I don't know. If you had a show, there's, I only, there's only one of me. Oh, and I'm not that, sure. no, that's stats. That's stats. Is it really? I didn't yeah. know. It was, oh, yeah. Look, you know what, stats? You look like an older Conor McGregor. I just have to put it out there. I, every time I see well, no, 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 no. an older Conor McGregor that's done too much meth. I mean, Conor McGregor doesn't do meth. This is a meth face right there. I didn't go there. All right. I, I, I was just <laughs> going straight with the, the older Conor McGregor. I did not go with the <laughs> meth, drugs. No, no. Uh, that's not true. Yeah. Stats is a great guy. He, he puts up with uh, he put that's probably Scott texting you right now. <laughs> Adam's so aggressive tonight. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Back up your pin. I have no idea. Phone keeps buzzing at me with some stupid stuff. It's Adam, remote. <laughs> uh, if if you get a picture, if you get a video of him slapping you in the face, uh, I will PayPal you one hundred dollars right now. Oh, give me your address. <laughs> if there's a video on this, I will I will cash app it to you today, uh, and then uh, but you have to share it on Twitter. Yeah, like a real yeah. slap. I mean, you can even share fifty dollars with them. I don't care. But and it's got to be one of them that when it hits, it goes, "Bitch!" And that's how it's got to sound. All right. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Now we're going to get demonetized. Not only are we going to well, demonetize. My, my wife demonetized us ages ago with did. a foul mouth. That's why I disappeared. <laughs> I almost choked her out. Not only am I going to get demonetized for that, but I'm going to be out $100. So I think Stats is going to slap him in the face. Wow. This is going to be good. <laughs> going to be good. Oh, goodness. Anyway, now this is like the late, late show. I mean, I think those guys are on 30 minutes before us. But, I mean, we're like Conan that comes on at midnight back in the day. But not Ginger. No. No, no ginger. Well, there's anything wrong with being ginger. Like, 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 just don't like soul or anything Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, well, Scott doesn't have one. He's fixing to get what's left of it slapped out of his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. Anyway, uh, so, man, we only got like 16 minutes left. I know I've only been here about 15. <laughs> I know. Well, it's not pretty fast even without you here. But uh, I, I, let me tell you, I've been sat here since like 10 minutes to eight as well, thinking everything was peachy king. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I even said to the wife, I can't believe I'm all set up already. I've been sat. No, you were ready to go. Like we were in here, yeah. ready to go on time. I mean, I had to go take a bathroom break before we started, but I will have to test the cable in my mic. It's funny because <laughs> Sir Peachy has got lots of microphones in there that he's been testing. So if it is a faulty microphone, I'll have to tap him up. Yeah. Anyway. Right, can we please get a live stream with all four of you? Hey, Scott can come on right now. I'll send in the link. Get Scott on here. Yeah. Um, get yeah, stats on as well if he wants to come on. Um, sure. Yeah, that's Sam. Yeah, Michael Pepper. Yeah, it's come a long, long way. Let me see. A long, uh, long way. Yeah. Uh, Scott can come on. I don't, I don't have stats information, but, I mean, you can share it with stats. I don't have stats information either. You're not missing much. Hey, he gave us five bucks, though. You're only going to have $95 yep. profit now. Gaia, get out. <laughs> Buds Pro, honest opinion. You know, I'm actually really looking forward to these, and I saw a tweet earlier from I'm my buddy. Huh? I'm not even ordering them. I, I ordered them with mine because I had all that credit and absolutely nothing to do I with it. I have loads of credit, but I still won't waste it on. After the Galaxy Buds, the Buds Plus, I, would, I didn't try the live because the other two were atrocious. The buds, the buds were okay when they came out, but they were too much money. They were garbage. Uh, and the battery life wasn't good. They would discharge in the case, but I thought the overall sound profile and the comfortability, they were really comfortable for me when they first came out. Where's BMAC? Get BMAC in here because we need to talk about you liking, what did you call it? Negative bass. Yeah, whenever you lower what the, the hell is negative bass? The equalizer yeah. when you go into the negative. Negative bass? Shut What's up. What's it called? You know, low end having retard. God damn. Anyway, it's different. Whenever you have the lower bass, it punches harder, but it doesn't carry as much. So you don't get all that boominess in the music. Oh, excuse me. I love negative bass. What do you call it? Is there, oh, is there a term for it? Bass. Low, low end. No low end. Like your you know IQ. What it's called? It's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh-huh. I must have one to be associated with you. God. Negative base. Oh, look oh, at this. Oh, look, at, look. Hey, there's Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. <laughs> hey, these two hobos from the middle. Look at you hobos. Look at, look at you hobo looking people. All you, all, all you Ohioans. That's right. You're our team now. Just remember that. I'm one of them. Yeah, but Texas is like 15 times larger than Ohio. Yeah, but we know what Texas is. Heck of a hey, yeah, right there, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's what shaking, ladies? What are you guys going on? What's going on? Let's see you guys, like the Leno, you got to bring us in to make sure that we save your show. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> that's right. Well, Aren't my microphone crazy? broke for a start, so, you know, that's why I sound like you need, crap. I, I told you, like, if you need a microphone, let me know. Are you, yeah, are you I'm, XLR? I'm, no, I just use it. Blue Yeti X. Yeah, he has like, almost as many mics as he has tonight? snowflakes. You're right here awfully early. What do what? I said, that, like, four people show up for you guys' show tonight? You're here awfully early. Wow, Jesus, man, we've been lurking in the comments for <laughs> God, I, mean, I, was like, I was like, he Why spent a few days. He spent a few days in Vegas with me, and look how he's come back. What did you do to him? <laughs> I told you I'd corrupt his ass, but you know, God. I didn't think it'd go this bad. You look, know? it must have been so bad. Ken's not even on his channel. Dobo's just like, I don't want to do it tonight. He, just, he gave the channel to somebody else. I think Dobo's still recovering. Uh, he had a <laughs> Very uh, interesting time while we were there. Yeah, I, I was well, I was living vicariously through y'all's tweets and yeah, uh, same. Uh, <laughs> sounds, 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 sounds like y'all had y'all had just as much fun in Vegas as can be had during COVID times. He um, let's just say Ken doesn't take advice from somebody who's experienced in certain things, <laughs> and um, he's not talking about loving other men either. It, it was just other life choices. Yeah, well, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, Adam. Unless you want to tell <laughs> you do not have the, the same room. The Amen, so, there you go. So, yeah. No, let's just say Friday afternoon, Ken had to go home at like two two thirty and go to bed. <laughs> he lived a very short and exciting <laughs> life. Like yeah. we met up with we met up with Ken. I gotta say, at like ten forty five, and by like two forty five in the afternoon. He was having to be shuffled into an Uber. Ken was going into an Uber. And going you had to, to carry him to an Uber? No, he walked. Almost. Almost. He was... Uh, was it yeah. a was it a walk or a wobble? No. <laughs> was it a it walk was or a, a bag? He probably didn't remember. A, um, 
he, he made his own way into the Uber, but he doesn't actually remember. There's actually parts of that morning missing. Is he, <laughs> so, st is he still he, in Vegas? Is he the next well, he's, he's he is the not. Okay. So he's yeah. home. Yes. I will say, I, I was in Vegas a couple of years ago for the first time uh, that I actually left the airport. I've gone through Vegas airport several times, but it is surreal the first time you go there, how bright it is at night. Oh, and yeah. It Not only the time change coming from the eastern time zone where Scott and I live, but just there are so many lights. I, I remember the, the second night we were there, we were walking around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and it felt like it was in the middle of the day. I wasn't tired. I wasn't sleepy. I wasn't yawning. It's just there's so much going on that if you're well-rested and well-caffeinated, you can just go and go and go and go. No. <laughs> I wasn't a slight, no. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a slight disadvantage this time. So when I was out there for CES back in January, I was in much better shape than I am now because I haven't been a couch potato for 12 months. So we were out walking around and putting some mileage on the Apple Watch, and I was like, dear Jeebus. Oh, yeah. And I, I will <laughs> say, so I was out there – I can't even remember. Did, did I go in August? I don't know. I'm not so sure. I think I was out assistant. there at the end of yeah. summer. And <laughs> yeah, Vegas, Vegas, is, off the air. Vegas is in the high desert, but it was hot. Well, it's Vegas. Street. What do you expect? It's the desert. It's August in the street. desert. What, what oh, we hey, the I don't desert. know if you know it's this. If you're close to the equator in the middle of August, it's really hot. Oh, you don't say? <laughs> Uh, just get it together. I've got this story, man. I was in Vegas in August. It's hot. It was, it was so unbelievably hot. hot. It was so hot. Whenever I told you, I figured out what Aptex was. Dude. Yes. Dude. <laughs> it's so hot in Vegas during the summer. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, at least Ken got home. Uh, for people saying, is it Craig Ferguson and Jeff Peterson? It, uh, we'll go back. Uh, it, clearly, we are Leno or Letterman, and you guys are, I don't know, probably on public access TV. <laughs> Whatever gets views. It does. <laughs> Right. Like, you guys get more yeah you guys get more views than us we warm up the crowd for you yeah, guys yeah we're, we're the fluffer for our channel they we're, get we're the so ups back. they get so upset at our show they're like to hell with this we're going to this channel <laughs> oh, i mean in all fairness i mean we are slightly more entertaining but only like 23 percent of what we talk about is tech related same we we, we might have cracked 50 percent tonight <laughs> i am normally the butthole but i'm just gonna sit back and let him be the talking ass clapper right now because he's doing a good job <laughs> all on his own wow. Wow. did, you, did dan job. did dan you tell know. you how he got me demonetized in the uk for a word that i didn't know what it meant <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know what it was and i looked it up i was like oh i cannot say that <laughs> I, 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 what word do I call everybody that isn't an F or a C word? It begins with a B. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he read out, uh, I was chiping away. I was like, what loud. is that? <laughs> and I said, what is that word? Oh, I had to that's text what him. that is. I don't know what you're upset about. You're only going to get 37 cents in monetization anyway. <laughs> wow. It is James. <laughs> he, he, he is on it Good tonight. Right? God, man. Uh -huh. I mean, look, look, I... Good I mean, we're Lord. in the trust. I mean, I, I, I'm a really nice guy. I mean, y'all know that. <laughs> but uh, I, I it's, it's been just really streaming through tonight. How nice you are! It's been really just coming through the stream. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I did spend 16 and a half years as a military police officer. I mean, I, I, I can, I can make fun of people, and with you, it's really easy. So, I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know what? I love it. I love it. This is what this is what it's about. I'll just leave. I'll just I'll just leave. I'll just leave. I'll just, it'll be all right. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all on my own. <laughs> Good lord. But we do appreciate y'all hopping on here tonight. This is a nice, unexpected yeah. surprise. I'm sure our visitors. We're having a good well, time. Does, I, does anyone else ever told you you look like Conor McGregor or his oh dad? God. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I've gotten that uh, basically since he jumped out of the UFC and fought um, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, yeah, Floyd. Uh, I've the got very that first time I saw you. you the first thing I thought I was like, he looks yeah. a lot like Conor McGregor. Tell you what, I, I, if if people comparing me to him got me even 
1% of the money he's earned in his career, I'll take it. But so far, right. I'm not seeing those checks. Not seeing those paydays. Dana White's not calling you up. No, sure not. And I don't I don't like getting punched in the face. So Neither did Conor McGregor after the weekend. He was <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> true. true story. <laughs> getting kicked in the legs. When you said, I'll PayPal you or cash you 100 bucks," I looked right at stats and I said, <laughs> 50 bucks <laughs> yeah. before you even so, said it. Not me, right? I was like, it. look, I'll grab a phone. Let's go crazy. Like, <laughs> I, I want to see five distinct red lines across the oh, side. Of your face. God. Uh, five would be five. tough. I'm 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 more of uh, of a finger. finger? I, I want the stinger, you know. Oh hurtful. We should do like a, a channel collab where we'll basically carry the video. With a slap across the face. Why would you want him to leave five lines of fingers across his face? Because he's the weirdo. Him. That way somebody could see that he was slapped in the face. <laughs> the giant red mark on my face wouldn't be a dead giveaway? Yeah, or seeing just, just, make make it, sure. just make sure it hurts. Br oh. Brutally <laughs> pain. I'm, <laughs> I'm a peach. I bruise easy. <laughs> 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 Whatever. Money's going to uh, <laughs> oh, God oh. Lord. So Scott, you would yeah. really get that two and a half thousand dollar Sony phone? No, okay. So hear me out on that. Um oh, here we go. I'm now, hearing you. Hear, hear me out on that. So I want to try it because you guys know that I'm really big about taking the phones that you have and trying to maximize the potential that it is. There's no I'm question about that. Taking. What? Nothing. What okay. Keep you just sit over there being pretty. Uh, but the <laughs> idea is like, I want to try to figure out how, like what's, what would be really the point? Like who would that truly be for? And I think Juan said it best. Like that is a pro pro. Like that is as pro as you get broadcast level type stuff. Somebody who's out in the field trying to do that level stuff, because I don't think the average consumer is going to do that. You, like if I wanted to do, have a monitor where I can record that content into the monitor to where I pull it out and, you know, slap it on a MacBook. You can get an uh, what is a Ninja Atomos V or five or whatever they're called for like mm -hmm. like six hundred six seven hundred bucks five hundred bucks. I yeah, I, I get that. I, I think the phone is very worthy of the pro moniker. I agree with that. The price tag is what takes it outside of anybody's realm of reality. And it's, considering it's so buggy and it's crashing all the time, and mm, I mean, yeah, they can fix some of that stuff. That's that's all well and good. Somebody ain't gonna fix it. When, when was I, last I, time I like the last time? idea because for someone like me, I pretty much exclusively use phones. If I could have a really, really awesome phone that would, I would not need to upgrade every two or three years to use as this pro caliber everything phone that would shoot like. DSLR or micro if it would shoot a regular Sony camera quality in a phone, I would I, love it. It doesn't do that. It doesn't have the sensor for that. And I know no. it doesn't. I'm just saying if this phone existed in reality, then yeah, I would pay that much for it because I use it every day. That phone will make me a lot of money. What are you on right now? What are you shooting on? Right now I'm using my A72. Okay. Dan, what are you on? A61. S Stats is on an iPhone. Well, that's really? Yeah, that's an iPhone 12 Pro. Yeah, that's yeah. my iPhone 12 Pro. It looks phenomenal. Looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very well. You want Scott? I'm on a Canon EOS R. That's a good camera. I love the camera. Yeah. Like, I don't like Canon, but uh, that EOS R, I like a lot. I, I like the I, color about the Canon. The I boy. love I love it. Um, it's great. Although I kind of get that whole FOMO thing with Sony. Everybody's like, A7 S. it's so amazing. And I'm like, I kind of want to try it. Yeah, I'd like to try it, but I'm perfectly fine with my A6100. Just fine. Yeah, I, I, so here's the thing. I, I was using a regular camera for a little bit, and all it did was create more work for me, and I don't have the flashiest looking camera uh, video. I mean, even if I wanted to shoot flashier video, you can still do it with the iPhone so well. And I have exclusively been using my iPhone 12 Pro Max and this $15 lightning port lav mic that I got that's a no-name off of Amazon works just fine. Oh, my God. I got it. Like, I, audio is – I'm such an audio snob. I'm not even good at, like, the specs and stuff like that from, a like, a microphone perspective. I just can't tolerate bad audio. I kind of want to send you a lav mic. Not to a say lot. that your audio is bad. I'm just saying, like, I want to help. Like, uh, is that an insignia? 
Yes. Oh God! This was my re- this was my recovery tonight because you this see the amount of shame in his face when he says yes. This is <laughs> there was a lot of regret there. What is that, that? You could look at that as a black Yeti X. Huh. But uh, it decided to take a crap tonight. Unless it's just a cable, I'll have to test it. But uh, God, I want to send you a microphone. Hmm, it's been uh, rather annoying tonight, like Adam type of annoying. Being with him for four days, it was mm. not good. That happens. Mm. It's an experience. It was an experience. I, I wouldn't wish that on my ex-wife. And I, I cannot that. wait till I get a chance to hang out with you guys. I got a chance to meet Dan for like the first time when I bought an iPad. <laughs> yeah, is it still working? <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. It's great. Is, I'm, it, I'm is it still work- is, oh, Hopefully. Is the, uh, is yeah, LTE still, still working? No. Okay. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll take not. a departure to reality here real quick. <laughs> ideally, it looks like maybe everybody might be able to get these immunizations by the summertime. So ideally, hopefully next fall, next winter, uh, traveling and, and ideally CES will be on the table. Yeah. My, uh, my wife's company where she works. Uh, she works for Speedway, so you'll know who that is, Scott. And uh, oh, yeah, the that is. She works for the IT department in there. Uh, they're doing um, the immunizations for all the family, so we can just go to Speedway and get it done, which I thought was oh, that's really nice. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. God, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. So here's hoping. Yes. So hopefully we'll be able to get together again sometime in the near future. Well, the three of yeah. us, like – this three yeah. right here. This three here. We could anytime you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, we can go. It wasn't that far of a drive. What's ha- no, there's I nothing halfway. halfway. No matter, I can come there's nothing there. halfway though. Y'all can no. y'all can like get a raisin canes and eat it in the park. Oh my god, canes is the best. I'm down for raisin. Look, canes. I will go Canes-y. get some raisin canes. There's one right. They just opened a new one here called Wiley's, and it's like raisin canes is one side of the street, and then there's this Wiley's on the next side of the street. That's exactly the same as raisin canes. Well, I mean, the answer is we have to try both. Like, I like raising canes, but it backs up like thirty-three cars onto the to the road that goes into the parking lot over here. It's absolute madness. It's because it's that good. Well. We almost have we almost have cars that get in wrecks all the time because they come through the intersection and don't realize that that line of cars is stopped, <laughs> waiting to get chicken for half hot an hour. Hot chicken, hot chicken. What are you picking? <laughs> like that's the answer. This is why you don't have real friends. <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh, yeah. <laughs> I literally used a catchphrase Ooh. from Raising Cane's Hot Chicken, Hot Chicken. What are you picking? Because they say that at ours. I don't even think they say that. Well, then your Raising Cane sucks compared to Ohio ones. No, they just they don't, don't really. Either. <laughs> they don't really. They say that no. at ours. Do they All over know? Columbus, man. I think you just got true. one over exuberant guy who's really happy about the chicken one day. Maybe no, it's because they get shot if they said that in Dayton, because Dayton's kind of, you know, I'm assuming like Dayton is kind of. Mm. Nobody would say that here because they have self-respect. But that's another what? story. You live in Texas. Yeah, greatest state in the union. Yeah, I said, I said before, second biggest. State. Don't, you know what they say? Well, there is in Texas, and he don't have horns, so <laughs> I'm <telling> you. Right. <laughs> you can say all you want. Uh, the amount of child support I pay is more than enough to justify the children that I have. That doesn't matter. That doesn't mean nothing. You could I'm be no in the day and have six kids. It's not just because you dip <laughs> it every now and then. Just to try and prove you're not doesn't mean you're not. All right? It's the way it is. Good God. hmm Okay, Good. yeah. Chick-fil-A. Uh, look. Overrated. Agreed. I like Chick-fil-A a lot more like a decade ago. Chick-fil-A? I'm completely burnt out on it, and I never want to eat it. Just, I get what you. No, 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 yeah, no, no, uh-huh. no, no. I, I mean, I grew up in the South. I grew up devouring Chick Fil A every time I could eat it. These days, uh, there are some personal philosophical differences between my viewpoint and the viewpoint of the owner of Chick Fil A. So I no longer spend money there. But if somebody else is going to buy it, I'll still eat the hell out of it. No, <laughs> absolutely. I'm like that with most food. Don't worry. <laughs> So I'll buy I'll eat it. Eat it. No problem. He'll eat any food that you buy for him. Yeah, absolutely. Go Smart for it. man. Smart man. Yeah. yeah. Oh goodness gracious. Yeah. Oh, what's what's particularly bad here is we have the Chick Fil A on one side of the road, and the Raising Canes is directly across from it on the other side of the road. So you have Jesus. like thirty cars backed up going this way, and thirty cars backed up going the other way. Oh, I would. I you couldn't pay me enough money to attempt to drive through that intersection when oh both Raising Canes and Chick Fil A are open at the same time. That no sounds way. awful. It is. 
It is BJ really Perry Jr. I would actually tell you to go out and buy the new Liberty Air 2 Pro over any of the Galaxy Buds. By far. I've I've heard those are amazing. Not the buds. They are. Yeah. They, they, the new Liberty Air 2 Pros are fantastic. They're, the they're very noise, good. You don't noise work with them. It's great. Yeah, have you not – Soundcore not got with you? Me? I mean, Soundcore sends stuff to a lot of people. They'll probably send you some earbuds. No, Soundcore, Soundcore has never reached out to me once. Um, I'll, I'll put you in contact with Lawrence. I, I appreciate that. No problem. You, know, you can experience them firsthand. They're really good. I, you know, I love that stuff. Yeah, I, I'm curious about these new Buds Pro, though. I'm going to fire them up tonight. I actually, contrary to what most people think uh, or feel about them, I actually really love the Buds Live. This thing kicks ass as well. This is from Soundcore. They just sent me this now. The motion boom. My God, you should hear this thing go. It's well, you know good. I have that giant. I feel like high five right now. I, I know you, you know I have that giant like uh, sound box speaker that I absolutely love. That big one. Um, that like I would put that thing. There you go. That huge black behemoth yeah. right there. That thing is a beast. You can hear that thing from 400 yards away. No joke. Oh. Oh my that's god, I want to try that. Yeah, that's the other sound called party box. Yeah. Oh my god, I wanted to try that. Okay, we'll talk. We'll talk about that. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah. Oh, we're already, we're already an talking. hour and six minutes. I don't care. You, it's I mean, we're carrying the like I said, we're carrying the show. If you didn't suck so hard, then it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Who's using an XB32? There's an XB33. I get them every year. Sony sends them to me every year. I, Sony sends me nothing. That's because they thought you've been on the Make a Wish Foundation for the last three years. That's that's, I, that's because I. Mm, that's that's see. <laughs> and actually, not carrying the show. We had like fifteen more people in here before y'all showed up. So, did it all fall? Did everybody fall away? Uh, a couple of them came back. So, so we, basically, what you're saying is, is like we are literally the worst so you we're, people we because we join everybody else goes away we're we're the wall street bets of your show screw those guys but, wait, wait, bets, but which part? man today I, I mean i'm not gonna get into the stock stuff but those, we, we, we did that. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. man Stonks. i i had i had i had bought quite a few well not quite a few but i had got some amc options yesterday morning of course before, all the, before all the madness happened and I bought them, and then as soon as they, they went ballistic, I, it was like four dollars and fifty cents when I bought yesterday. And then it went up. I woke up this morning; it was twenty-two dollars pre-market. I'm like, I'm going to be rich. <laughs> and then it, Robinhood crashed, and I couldn't oh. sell them. I couldn't get into Robinhood for like half an hour, and then the market froze the trading on it three or four times. Yeah, the automatic completely, uh, completely uh, killed all of my speaking. options. Like, so what are they? It, Oh, I sold them earlier today. Well, how much money? You made money then? Yeah, I did. But I would have made like 60% more money had the website not crashed and they not froze it three times. Man, I can't do that day trading stuff. Like, I can't do that. It wasn't day trading. It was two-day trading. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I can't do that. Like, oh, it's too yeah. risky for me, and then I forget, and then I lose money. I've done the day trading thing before, and I get like I have a very addictive personality. Shocking, I know. And the idea is like, I don't want to become addicted to that because I could be like, all the money, put all the money in AMC. Nope. I know myself way better than that. I'm not doing it. Yeah, you know, it's it can be fun when you're winning, but when you're losing, it really sucks. I bet it does. Like I've had some days I'll walk in there like, honey, I made like you know a thousand dollars today. Hooray, we're gonna go out and eat steak for dinner. And then the next two days I'm like, well, I lost two thousand dollars today. Mm. So let's go to McDonald's and get that dollar menu millionaire because that's what mm. we're gonna get. True story, best thing, cheeseburgers, Mac sauce, the best. <laughs> mm -hmm. My standard order at McDonald's, no. for like the last you know what Mac sauce is, don't you? You know, you can buy Mac sauce from the store. It's a, you know it's it's it a is, Thousand right? Island dressing. You just catch up and like Ken, no, Ken's Thousand Island is Mac, exactly what Mac yeah. sauce is. That is what that's they true. use in McDonald's. Yes, mm -hmm. I didn't even know you could get Mac sauce on things. I, I do like the McRib though. Yeah, you can get Mac sauce on anything. Just ask for it. Yep. Yep, go into the store and get Ken's Thousand Island. That is exactly what they put on the Big Mac. Or well, either can, way, I mean, I or still, you can buy ketchup, mayo, what, and pickle relish. What's your, yeah, what's, your what's your standard order? You go to McDonald's. What are you going to get? I get the ten piece nugget meal. What? Because you're a child. No, I'm a man. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, oh, you, you, you sure you. showed me. <laughs> I did. You're cowering in fear. <laughs> <laughs> Two cheeseburgers and a medium fry. Mm. Two cheeseburgers and a medium fry. That's my that's my go-to meal. I couldn't even tell you the last time I ate from McDonald's, so I I have no idea Jesus. what I would order. Oh, yeah, so, philosophical differences with their chicken nuggets. I have a two-year-old. So <laughs> not, not, not the chicken nuggets from McDonald's. <laughs> so like, I, I don't like the I don't like the that there's only ninety-eight percent not chicken. chicken. <laughs> I like it. It's the it's the pink tube chicken. Right? That's what it is. Yummy pink tube chicken. Mm. Yeah, there's not much stuff that turns my stomach, but that phrase just yummy just, pink tube chicken. Yeah, does not do anything nom, for nom, me. Nom 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 nom. You know, I, I was telling my wife the other day, is like what I was really craving was White Castle. Oh, I, I, I have, oh my oh, God. Oh, yeah. When I, I first moved here from the UK, my ex-wife took me to White Castle telling me how all kinds of great it was. Oh, well, I mean, it's not great. Let's not get crazy. Mm -mm. Oh, no, no, no. Everyone around here thinks White Castle is blessed by Jesus. Let me what? tell you. Yeah. I, I, I here in Columbus, Ohio. So yeah, but I mean. It's got a weird sample size. It's just, uh, I, I had it for the first time, and let me tell you, I would rather eat my own ass again. Oh my god! Than eating my ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Dan, now we know why Dan's losing weight. He wants to eat his own ass. <laughs> I eat my own ass. That's right. It's a closed system, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not wasting any nutrients by doing yeah. it. Oh <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, you're not eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, so I doubt you're wasting nutrients either. <laughs> listen, listen, Mr. Half my hair is missing, but I'm holding on for it for life. Don't you talk to me about what I'm not eating and what I am eating. This is oh, because of look, at you. look at you. You're like. like 50% Captain Comb over, and you're here giving me oh green. Oh my god, Are you kidding? <laughs> god. Jesus, I thought Captain Comb yeah. over, Captain <laughs> Cover up with your hat. Have you guys had In and Out Burger? Had it for the yes. first time in Vegas, overrated. Yes, it is. Five Guys is way better. Five Guys is better. Burger joint? In and Out Burger is just like Steak and Shake, it's just like it. Oh, wow. no way. Wow, yeah. that's whew, I don't uh, know. So steak and shake stands alone, and I do like steak and shake, but In and Out Burger, steak and shake is not. I'm I, telling you, In and Out's better than steak and shake. I like Shake Shack a little bit better than In and Out. Um, Whataburger is the best one. I have not. I did not like Whataburger. I, I I have not had Whataburger. Yet. I haven't had it, but Ooh, it's going. Yeah. It oh. it's going to have to be walking on water to beat Five oh. Guys. No, it, Five Guys is definitely better than Whataburger. No, it's not. I just it think is. the amount of food you get for the price from Five Guys. Well, for the fries? For the price, guys, they're freaking the better. The, those yeah. fries with the Cajun seasoning on them, I yeah, eat those till I'm, like, going to die. Yep. They Cajun good. seasoning all the way, brother. Like, yeah. one day, whenever somebody looks at me to figure out why I died at such an early age, I just want to have a note in my pocket that says Five Guys French Fries. Mm -hmm. And everybody will understand. Three, five guys french fries, three years <laughs> off my life. I, I, a water burger is a better actual burger than five guys burger. I what? Will say, uh, Crazy talk. Once, once we all get the vaccine, once we all get the vaccine and it's safe to travel again, oh, we good. should meet up in Memphis and eat our way through the barbecue Absolutely. restaurants and the restaurants in Memphis. And there's no question. Will, will definitely take years off your life, but you will. I don't, and I won't give a rat's. Behind. I've got a lot to make up for after this last year. Oh my god. Take them years. Don't you worry about take it. Them. Take them. <laughs> here you go. go to the register. Oh, like, okay, like, oh, no. <laughs> a little dewy. Like, here you go. Gus what fried kind of chicken would you like to use? Years, sir. Dyers. Years. Yeah. Dyers. <laughs> Dyers. Dyers. What is it? Dyers. Dewey's. Well, Dewey's is pizza here. Oh, sorry. Dewey's. Dewey's. Dyers. Dyers, Dyers is the best burgers. Gus's uh, fried chicken. Gus's fried chicken. Rendezvous, rendezvous ribs. ribs. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, I probably do. Well, the nice thing is, is we actually talked about tech for like the first forty-five minutes. So that's right. Yeah. Sorry, we we come on here. We I only talk about food. Uh, if you watch my stream, I talk about mayonnaise spaghetti. It's, yeah. It's I, I, what I think we're gonna do is just put oh, like a oh, nice right. in there that mayonnaise says, and spaghetti. Yeah, I said it together. Yeah, this was the, it, seriously. Have you not heard the story? This was you eat mayonnaise and spaghetti. spaghetti. Yeah. Well, hang on. Adam was gonna say something, and then I'll tell the mayonnaise spaghetti. Yeah, so 
I was going to say that I think what I just need to do is put like a disclaimer or a timestamp at like the 45 minute mark. It stop says watching. stop here if you don't want to hear anything that's not tech related. <laughs> it goes free for all after that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Manny spaghetti on my stream. I, I stand on an island alone. Let me assure you what the next thing I'm going to say is. So we grew up poor. And so mm. my grandmother made spaghetti. And then instead of red sauce, we used uh, mayonnaise. And then ground beef. True story. I would throw I that. Can feel, I can feel my face turning inside out. It's this, it's much better than you can even possibly imagine. We don't use real mayo either. We use Miracle Whip. So that's a it's dressing. You would have to use Miracle Whip because it would be more than a miracle for me to eat it. It's not as bad as you think. I assure you. Stats has a I'm going to have it. Yeah, like, yeah. So Crystal's saying it. So it's like cheap Alfredo. So Alfredo sucks. I don't like Alfredo. But I, I don't either. Eat. I will eat mayonnaise spaghetti. You and heathen. I, I am a heathen. Back to, <laughs> the, I think it was the post-Christmas show. I don't know. It might have been the pre-Christmas show. I, I, I was on record. I said, I will try it if he tries either my mother's chicken pot pie. Pot pies or, are stupid. Or my mother's lasagna because Scott said all casseroles suck. All casseroles I, are trash. I, I told Those him are not casseroles. Good. Agreed. Then all, what is your definition? All casseroles are trash, and chicken pot pie is stupid. Well, usually casserole has the word casserole in it. How, how can you say a chicken pot pie is stupid, but mayo and spaghetti isn't? It's yeah. Miracle Whip and spaghetti and chicken and pot pie. I don't want a bunch of bread. bread. I don't want bread. I don't want bread and I don't want bread and pot pie. I want if I want chicken, I'm gonna have chicken. You know what spaghetti's made out of, right? What? Wheat. I get that, but it's like, oh, but it's like a it's chicken bread. pot pie. It's like, look, if I don't want to eat just nothing but crust and flakiness and then a little bit of chicken and it's like weird gravy. I also don't put gravy on mashed potatoes because that is stupid. You've never had what about gravy on French fries. No, I'm not Canadian. That's that's gross. But I do put yeah, gravy on that. British. All right, we were here before the Canadians. Don't, don't <laughs> go out on Canada. And you squandered right. away just like everything else in your life. <laughs> shit, like your hair life. Why don't you just shut up and stay in your box, you? All right, get back <laughs> in your thing over there. Let the two idiots down here in Ohio say something stupid about mayo <laughs> spaghetti. Miracle whip and spaghetti. With it's a true story. It's not nearly as bad as you think. I'm I assure you. Up when I leave here. So, so you won't try chicken pot pie all the time. No, I've had chicken. No, no, no. I've had chicken pot pie. No, no, no. The de Dan, the deal was, if he wants me to try his mayo spaghetti, you're getting the absolute worst end of that deal. But uh, here, uh, uh, if you try something perfectly reasonable, I will try your mayonnaise spaghetti. <laughs> it's reasonable. I'm, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you, Adam. But like, I am a very adventurous eater, so I'm I'm usually more than willing to try things that Scott is not. So you know, he he's also going to eat dance. <laughs> oh. oh goodness gracious! I don't even. I can't believe there's still 22. We still have 22 people in here that are that are watching this. Who? Well, two of them are Scott and I. We're we're streaming. No, I'm not streaming it. I turned it off because it was getting that weird echo, which is what you heard. I, I gotta say that, that for the people still here, I I'm appreciate sorry. being here, and also you may be a slight glutton for punishment because I, I don't know why you're watching this right now. Because they can't believe this some weirdo sign here who eats miracle whipping fucking spaghetti. See, I'm swearing at the thought of it. It's just everybody says this. Everybody, ex ex everybody says this. Steve, Excuse me, why I go on. Everybody Mark. says it. I'm telling you, I swear to God, this weekend I'm making it. Okay. This weekend I'm gonna make it. I'm it's a pound be, of ground beef. I'm be here for the tech fight anyway. So, okay, yeah. that's what I'm gonna do. Shepherd's cottage pie. Uh, I don't know what that is. Shepherd's pie. You know what shepherd's pie is? Potato. I'm sure that I do. Also, also not casserole and things like that. Shepherd's pie. It, and isn't that the one that has mashed potatoes on top of it? Yeah, yeah, you have potatoes on top. Of real, you and bacon. real shepherd's pie has lamb, but over here they use beef for some yeah. reason. Yeah, I make it with lamb. It's really good. You, you get the mm -hmm. lamb, you put some carrots, some peas, put some seasoning in there, put some mashed potatoes on top of it with some cheese and throw it in the oven. It's really good. So I actually wait. think it sucks. Huh? I think it sucks. Why is that a pie then? Why do they call it a pie? Because you put it in a pie dish. It's called chicken pot pie. It's the vessel that it's served in. So it's a 
it's a piece of lamb with mashed potatoes on top that becomes crunchy. No, it's ground, like it's ground, ground lamb. Or, or minced. It's minced or ground with like a like a stew gravy kind of with. It. I could not be I could not be more American at the moment, but no, like I currently could not be more American. Of you're also the guy who ordered a burger at a pizza place, so you know. Yeah, you're like my kid. I, a burger. I go somewhere and we're like. We go eat at a Mexican food restaurant, and they order a hamburger, and then they want to complain that the hamburger is not any good. I'm like, well, you went to a Mexican food restaurant and ordered a hamburger. What do you expect? Fuck your chicken nugs. Why don't you calm down? (laughs) 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 Oh, gosh. Jesus. Uh, and people are still watching because we just continuously insult each other and then question our word. word It's like a free for all. (laughs) Hey, just right. want to throw this out to the whole chat. Super chats are open. Uh, go ahead and drop a super chat in there telling everybody how disgusting of a human being I am for mayonnaise spaghetti. It's See, not even that. Even my, dog, even my dogs are barking at the thought of mayonnaise. I'm telling you right now, Stats is going to come on here next week, the show. On our show, he's going to talk about it. I will give an honest an honest review of mayonnaise spaghetti. Because all I you know do is you just- this, this I don't know how you can give an honest review of that when you're clearly mentally compromised eating in the first place. You must have a palate that yeah, resembles I a dog's anus. I mean, really? Yes. That's just... <laughs> we, we were talking about this before I show, our show. Uh, Scott and I have known each other for 18 years. So yeah. 18 years of mental compromise in there. So. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. I, I cannot wait until he goes, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. That's what's going to happen. He's like, I, he would. Ne- he's going to say, I would never choose to eat it. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's exactly yeah. what he's. Okay. That's exactly what he's going to say. Yeah. I can't even fathom that in my head. I'm afraid. I'm telling you, that's what he's going to say. Is like I would definitely not choose it over red sauce because I also wouldn't choose it over red sauce, straight up. And he's going to say it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That actually reminds me. That's exactly that what he's going to say. Didn't when I was home for Christmas, we didn't get to make a big batch of my mom's red sauce, so I'll do it while I'm home for. Can't okay, hear you. What'd you say? He keeps fading out whenever he talks. I can't hear him. Yeah, just that's because he's, he's, he's not seat. swallowing the mic like he normally is. Uh-huh. uh-huh. You can't come so, on my show and get lazy. So I'm watching oh, because I'm in shock. Come on his there. show. Yeah, that, that can't come on his show. They can come on my show whenever they want to. Or... <laughs> wow. Did you just kick Dan out? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness uh, gracious. Uh, uh, you totally... guys can come on the show anytime. You guys know this, but I know you guys go live after. You, I'll come on your show while I'm waiting for this yeah. donkey's balls. I, I, that's why I just think I'm sat in there. I'm waiting, see, I'm waiting for this loser every time he appears at 826. Are you ready yet? Oh, no, I've been sat here 35 minutes waiting for your stupid <laughs> half a hair having... I'm gonna swear. Uh, anyway, this is what people come for. They come for the abuse. They don't give a crap about what we talk about. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm totally gonna delist this after we get done. <laughs> <laughs> that was all your fault, then, buddy. All right, it was just all you. Okay. I should have known better. You should have. Uh, yes. It's aggressive. So aggressive. I eat lasagna, yeah. so just for for sake, somebody says, how can you eat mayo spaghetti but not lasagna? I eat lasagna. Hmm. Lasagna is not a casserole to me. No, it's lasagna is lasagna. absolutely not a casserole. Agreed. It's an Italian dish. Oh, Casseroles are American. Really? Isn't it's it certainly a casserole, casserole dish. It's in a, yeah. It's cooked like a casserole, too. Is it, though? It's an Italian dish. Casserole is an American cuisine. No, it's not American. Shut, why is everything got to be American? Casserole. You should have fell out. Right. Because we created casseroles. Hey, we hey, created hey, casserole hey, casserole hey. Bitch. I'm putting it in the chat right look, now. We, look, we won the war. We can make the rules. <laughs> we won the war. All right, let's, let's don't go down that road. You don't want one war on your own, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you evicted out of your own property. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna bring that Trump sign in anyway. Anyway, <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, casserole uh, is from France. All right. Well, we beat them too. I mean, what do you want to say? Uh, play is from yeah, France. France. Yeah. Everyone can beat France. White. Yeah, if you can't win a war, you can't claim a dish. Wow. Well, that's that. I've got to say, if anyone's French in here, get out. 
<laughs> I mean, they're probably all asleep right now, but I mean, if they want to own casserole, they, they can have it. I mean, if that's oh, what you're Zanya. Zanya is a well known casserole dish. Well, uh, we, we, look, where'd you get that from? From an American Wikipedia entry. Wikipedia is user edited. <laughs> <laughs> editing a Wikipedia entry right now. Fine <laughs> casserole cuisine. It doesn't. Uh, yeah, it might be on Wikipedia, but you just typed it. Like edited by stats, January twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. Look, somebody uh, said it. They said it right here. <laughs> I don't know why it's not a reputable source. <laughs> Funny. Oh goodness! I'm gonna have to get off here in like two minutes, so probably All have to right. wrap this up. My camera battery is gonna die. Okay, but we do greatly appreciate y'all coming and hanging out on the show tonight. Hey, Absolutely. thanks for having us. It was a blast, man. And I, I got to delete this as soon as we're done. But I mean, it was good up until y'all got here. Oh, that's <laughs> aggressive, and I love it. <laughs> check, check before we show up. Craziness after we show up. So what I'll do, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to evict you all from the show, and then we're going to do our normal ending. I'm going to download the file, edit it, and then re-upload it. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that's you know, one story, though, about burritos there. So when I, was going to, when I was going to college, I had this professor, and I don't know where he was from, but he would like to use burritos in analogies when he would give like these lessons on things we were talking about. And he would pronounce them burritos. What? Burritos. Burritos, okay. Yeah, he would call them burritos. Did you notice nobody laughed? I don't care. It's a story. It's not a joke. Yeah, but nobody cared. So why do you even bother? <laughs> Just like your video. It doesn't matter. I haven't released wow. a video. I'm not stupid to release a video, Mr. I launch one every day and they all suck. So whatever. Oh, my God. It's success by a thousand failures. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! No, oh, but seriously, videos in January go to die. Straight up, they go to die. They can. I've got some that are really bad. I've had a couple that have been fortunately good enough to carry, but most of them maybe half are bad. You got to, you know what yours are that carry you, and you know where they're from as well. What are they? It's his Blackberry videos that half of India sort of watches. Not just that. I've had other successful videos, too. Maybe you've heard of them. Oh, oh really? Hold on. Let me look them up. i got to find one I didn't run an ad on. Hang on. Yeah. Let yeah. me look them up. <laughs> Make sure first. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, what are, like, in, in success is subjective, right? Like, Um... I'm, let me find one. Yeah, yeah. So this one for the cameras that I reviewed, the security cameras, it's got seven thousand views. When did you release that? This month, January sixth. That's actually really good. Why I wish I didn't buy the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold two. Eight thousand views this month. Um, yeah, the rest of them are pretty much BlackBerry. And they're doing well. Actually, no. My Jabber Elite eighty five T review thirty eight hundred views. That's great, man. Don't encourage you. No, yeah, like my AirPods, my AirPods Max, four hundred and twenty-three views in one and a half weeks. That one's doing great. <laughs> Just that's a banger. That re that yeah. really grounds you in reality. That's not no. even like a view per dollar either. That's just yeah, that's, like, that's less than one view per dollar. How about my my enhance your life Olive Union and my Clubhouse one, uh, hundred and forty-one and one seventy-two respectively. Yeah. Now you're on my scale of it. Very average. Pretty good. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, just, uh, yeah, just swing and a miss. <sighs> well, okay. Anyway. Well, I guess we'll go and wrap up shop. Oh, yeah, but, so Adam's uh -huh. Adam uh -huh. decided that we're all, all going to leave now because Adam says so. Well, I mean, I'll leave. My battery's going to die. I mean, y'all can keep talking. Just don't worry about it. Just just forget it, Mr. I run everything, and it's my channel, and I'm going to do what I want. I was talking to him. I don't care what you're talking to. <laughs> I'll kick what? you out again. You ain't kicking sh <laughs> 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 Kevin Smith, yeah. I guess. Yeah, and so I get it all the time. Mm. Like a less funny, more talky Kevin Smith? Well, now I'm more chubby Kevin Smith because he's lost a ton of weight. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, the massive well, heart yeah. attack will do it. Well, well sure, sure. changing your life. Not really. You got uh, well, no, Kevin, no, he Kevin Smith life. and Conor McGregor. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. But for everybody who's stayed here through all of this, uh, you are our most appreciated supporters. And I thank you for being here tonight. Listen to him. He's so cheesy. Nobody cares. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He's he's right there on the cusp of kicking you out. I don't care. He can kick me out. <laughs> We're playing a dangerous game here. <laughs> so you know, it's just one of those things. Playing reindeer games in January, I'll do it. Are we meant to laugh? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so thanks a lot everybody for showing up tonight. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you to our most Wonderful guest here, technically speaking, also known as Scott Peachy. And also, we have Mr. Stats. Howdy, howdy. Bye bye. Connor McGregor under a bridge. That's right. Under a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> now he's kind of his own home. I need to get one, one more in there, right on the way out the door. <laughs> well, thank y'all uh, for being here tonight. It was a lot of fun. And uh, hold on, who do I speak to about getting back the last hour of my life? <laughs> uh, well, you can talk to the refund department. Uh, they'll they'll hook you up. But can I just say, poor Andrew had to sit there with us the other night for five hours oh, <laughs> at dinner. I didn't realize it had been that long. I thought it was like two hours. Next thing I know, it's like five hours later. But uh, yeah, it was totally an awesome time to hang out with Andrew. Very funny. Yes. So y'all have a wonderful week. I hope you can recover from this and have a productive life for the next two days. And I'll probably be back streaming at some point in time this weekend, sans technically speaking, or stats, or probably Dan. But hey, you're always welcome to show up this weekend if you want. Hey, I'm only one to carry you on that week. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, talk to Dan. Dan will give you a refund. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Keep the change. So we'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful week. Y'all stay safe. And uh, we will catch y'all next time, next Wednesday, always 7.30 Central Standard Time. And we'll talk a lot more tech next week. And it won't go an hour and a half. But thank you all and have a good night. See ya.